Across the country, summer comes for various activities. Often a mixture of educational and recreational courses are winding down, as a new school year is once again upon us. For the past six weeks, a group of children has been busy learning and applying the fundamentals of gardening and basketry. Every morning, a handful of kids would gather here at the Dorothy Menzies Child Care Center, where they would join others who are present in the protective custody of the Department of Human Services. The idea is not only to have these children interact with each other, but to learn the traditional skills of horticulture and basket weaving. It's the conclusion of our six-week program of a series of different uh, summer activities that we've been doing with, with children. And um, the, one of our staff members suggested that we do something with Dorothy Menzies. Um, we usually donate school backpacks and so on at the end of, of summer anyway. Um, so we decided to have the kids who attended the summer workshop um, come and share some of that knowledge that they have by, by putting in a garden. And then we have somebody who did um, the Titai weaving workshop come and show the kids here how to do it. That person is Savinus Flores, a skilled artisan whose area of knowledge is weaving baskets and other handicraft using what is known locally as a Titai reed. The purpose is to carry on the tradition that he learned while growing up in Dangriga. It is something that I learned from my dad and um, he died unfortunately I pick it up and now I don't want to die and no one else come from behind and do the same it is something that we as how to call it um, we as parents in a whole should be role models to our children this basket weaving is not something we're common because a lot of people like to see the beauty of the basket when they're done, but the amount of work it takes for me to get it the way how you want it to be done. And um, the future, you know, the children's birds. The summer program was facilitated through the Museum of Belize and Houses of Culture. According to Alexis Salazar, the director of the organization, teaching these kids about Belize's intangible cultural legacy was priority number one. One of the things that we wanted to do through all summer programs at the House of Culture was something that deals with intangible cultural heritage. Um, like we were talking about before, uh, basket weaving is being lost in Belize and it's not being passed on from one generation to the next. Um, some of the, the things that were being built in the past, um, like the patake that we, we talked about, are not being passed along. So some of that knowledge is being lost and we wanted to do something to preserve that uh, through teaching it to young kids. And those children, for the most part, are all fast learners. In that short space of time, many have displayed a propensity for weaving, an inclination that leaves Flores at a loss for words. They are so talented. In a short space of time, they could show what they do. You know? the, bo the, mo the basic part of the basket, the, the most um, difficult part that is starting, right? I do all the preparation and they do the knitting to complete, right, and it's so successful. Yeah, they do it well. They're just like, man, it's so great. Yeah, I feel good about it. You know, that I know that one day somebody will take it more serious than I am and go a further step. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Keitano.